15 Years in the Life of a Superman, a three-part story. Part 1. 2004. When Martha and Jonathan Kent found a spacecraft with an abandoned baby in the middle of a cornfield, they had no idea that he would one day become the legend known as Superman. Adopting the boy and naming him Clark, the Kents raise him on their farm. At age 17, Clark Kent is a high school football star with a best friend, Lana Lang, and a secret romance with his teammate, Pete Ross. He eventually comes out to his parents, as well as confiding in Lana and Pete about his superhuman abilities. A science teacher at Clark's school, Milton Fine, follows his football games and notes that Clark's performance is outside the parameters of possibility for a human. Dr. Fine becomes obsessed with Clark, discovers that he has a boyfriend, and kidnaps Pete. Dr. Fine tortures the young man, but Pete refuses to betray Clark's secret. Pete manages to escape, but not before Dr. Fine blinds him. Clark discovers him and is devastated. Dr. Fine then seeks out Lana, who ends up having to shoot and kill the madman in self-defense. In the aftermath, Lana is traumatized by what she was forced to do, and Pete tells Clark that he hates him. Clark realizes the price that others pay to know his secret, and vows to leave Smallville as soon as he graduates. Part 2 2009. Five years have passed. At age 22, Clark has recently started his new position as a copy editor at the Daily Planet, Metropolis's leading newspaper, thanks in part to his father's old Smallville buddy, Editor-in-Chief Perry White. Now shy and somewhat awkward, Clark is befriended by young photographer Jimmy Olsen and his girlfriend, local TV personality Cat Grant, who acquaint him with the city. The Daily Planet's star reporter, the charismatic Lex Luthor, is riding a wave of media stardom after exposing the dirty dealings of the corrupt corporate tycoon, Lois Lane, sending the ruthless billionaire to prison. Clark is smitten with Lex, but can barely get the busy man's attention. Clark also decides to create a separate heroic identity by means of a crystal that accompanied him in his spacecraft which encases him in blue and even disguises his face. When the public reports of a flying hero they call Superman, Lex is determined to score the story of the century by interviewing him. Things take an unexpected turn when the otherworldly crystal generates an evil red counterpart to Clark, who wreaks havoc across Metropolis by burning the city. Superman engages in a ferocious battle with his destructive double, before eventually imprisoning his twin within the crystal, which Jimmy captures on camera. In the end, Clark submits the exclusive on the new Superman, surprising Lex, and causing him to look at his mild-mannered colleague in a new and flattering light. Part 3. 2019, 10 years later. Clark, now 32 and happily married to Lex Luthor, enjoys the Metropolis apartment they share. He prepares for the wedding of his Kryptonian cousin, Kara, to Lex's sister, Lena. Clark brings his five-year-old son, Connor, to Jonathan and Martha Kent to babysit while he and Lex attend the wedding. Since the boy was conceived through Kryptonian tech from Clark and Lex's DNA, Clark knows that his parents are the only ones with experience caring for a superpowered child. When Clark and Lex return to pick up Connor after the joyous event, they are horrified to find the Kents brutally murdered and their boy missing. They also find out from Kara that Lena was abducted on their honeymoon. Lex is then contacted by the kidnapper. It is Lois Lane, recently released from prison. She instructs him to kill himself publicly and leave a detailed suicide note stating that he fabricated all the evidence that got her convicted. She adds that she has deduced Clark's secret identity and had a radioactive element developed that can kill him. When Lex tells them this, Clark flies off to find Connor while Kara searches for Lena. Kara finds Lois and the captive Lena, but is unprepared when Lois defends herself in a suit of radioactive armor. 
Kara is badly beaten and almost killed by Lois. But Lena gets free and sacrifices herself to save Kara. When Clark arrives, Lois is gone, Lena is dead, and Kara is comatose. Lois calls Lex in his office and gives him a deadline. To save his son, Lex agrees to kill himself and lie about Lois's innocence. Clark tracks Lois to an airport runway and confronts her, but she overpowers him. Meanwhile, Lex finishes his suicide note at the Daily Planet and heads to the roof to step off. Lois produces Connor and instructs Clark to allow himself to be killed. As she moves closer to him, she promises to raise Connor herself and train the boy to help her enslave the world. The scared child, desperate for his father and unaffected by the radioactive armor, unexpectedly manifests a heat vision power, which blows up Lois. Clark quickly flies off and saves Lex, catching him in midair before he hits the ground. Soon after, Kara recovers. To honor Lena's memory, she promises to join Clark and fight crime at his side. As they mourn their recent tragedies, Clark renews his commitment to fight evil and promote love around the world as a reporter and as Superman. The end. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to this channel, which includes an alternate continuation of the Young Justice cartoon. Take care and have a super day.